So far on cassava matters, we have talked about the recommendations contained in the six steps to cassava weed management toolkit. We have also looked at weeds, types of weeds and weed control methods with a special focus on the use of herbicides. After more than six years of research, trials and evaluation of weed control options, the RITA Cassava Weed Management Project, currently operating under the African Cassava Agronomy Initiative, established that chemical weed control, which involves the use of herbicides, is the most effective weed control method, especially for profitable and large-scale cassava farming. However, safe use and correct application of herbicides is what guarantees optimum results and safety of humans, animals, and the environment. Let's watch this video on the safe use of herbicides. Herbicides are used to control weeds, but they need to be handled with care so they do not harm the environment, plants, animals, and applicators. Here are safety tips for you to observe when using herbicides. Before application, read the label on herbicide bottles or packets to know the correct dosage, date of expiration, and the manufacturer's address. Use only herbicides approved by the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control. Wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Wear a nose mask, gloves, overall, and rain boots. Spray only when the wind is not strong and there is no indication of rain going to fall soon. Ensure the sprayer and nozzles are well maintained to ensure the optimum performance of the sprayer. People without personal protective equipment should stay away during the spraying of herbicides. Herbicides should be applied by trained personnel. Children should not play with or touch herbicides. This includes empty bottles and packets. Children must stay away from herbicides. Do not eat, drink or smoke during handling and spraying of herbicides. It is best to return empty bottles to a collection point for hazardous waste. If you do not have access to such a collection point, rinse empty herbicide container three times. Puncture them at the bottom with a nail or sharp object and bury far away enough so they do not resurface during plowing. Do not use empty herbicide containers to convey drinking water, vegetable oil, or any other liquid that may be for human and animal consumption. After spraying, do not wash the sprayer in nearby streams or places serving for water supply. Wash the sprayer on the farm and distribute the waste water over a large area, preferably around where you have applied herbicide yet not into the gutter. After spraying, wash and change clothes before eating and drinking. In case of eye or skin contamination, rinse with water for at least 10 minutes. You are feeling dizzy or weak after spraying. Do not take milk or palm oil. Do not sleep. Go to the hospital. 
take the container of the herbicides you used and show it to the doctor for proper treatment. A critical requirement for effective herbicide use is an understanding of the types of herbicides that exist and the specific purposes and stages at which they are applied during cassava cultivation. The Six Steps Toolkit generally recommends that herbicides be applied at land preparation, immediately after planting, and weeks after planting. These three stages require three different types of herbicides, which are classified into pre-plant herbicides, pre-emergence herbicides, and post-emergence herbicides. Professor Friday Ekeleme, the principal investigator of the RITA Cassava Weed Management Project, sheds more light on this. For the pre-plant, the reason is you want to kill the perennial weeds. Perennial weeds are those that have some structures on the ground, you cut them on the surface, you go back tomorrow, they are sprouting. So you need to spray on them to kill them down to the root. Because if you don't do that, the pre-emergent herbicide will not touch them. The pre-emergent herbicide kills only seedlings or seeds when they are germinating. That's the only thing they do. Because you apply them, after you apply, you plant, you, you spray them on the soil, on a moist soil. So that's why you need the, the pre-plant. So the pre-emergents are those you spray on the soil after planting. And you have to make sure that your soil is well prepared, not in lumps, and you do it when it is moist. So for cassava, we expect that if you prepare your land very well, around eight weeks, the weeds will begin to come back. The herbicide, the pre-emergent herbicide you spread is no longer there. It's gone, the weeds will begin to come back. So when they cover a certain level, and when the weeds are young, three to six, four to six leaf stage, you come back and spray the one we call a post. You spray them directly on the weeds. There are different types. Um, for post, made for grasses. You can even spray on the cassava without a problem. But for those that are not meant for grasses, you have to direct it to the weeds under the cassava canopy. So those are the three times you require to use herbicide in cassava production, and of course in any, any, any crop at all. If you go to an agro dealer and you say, I need a grass uh, post-emergence, not a grass pre-emergence, a grass post-emergence, they'll be able to give you. And uh, if you go to an agro dealer too and say, I need uh, a post emergence that can take care of both grasses and broad leaves, they will give you. But those ones, because uh, they're not selective to cassava, the ones that can kill broad leaves, broad leaves are those weeds that have wide leaves, and grasses are the ones that are narrow, you have to direct it to the weed using a shield. That way you protect the leaves of the cassava. Uh, because most times uh, they are either contact or systemic. What I mean by contact, they act by the moment they touch the leaves, they burn it off. The ones that are systemic, they touch the leaf, the weeds, they have to move into the weeds until they get to the roots or the organs where they will uh, knock off the weed. So that's the reason why you have to be very careful. But we advise that for every post, to be on the safe side, use a shield. A shield is something like a cap you put on the nozzle of the sprayer as you spray around uh, the weed so it doesn't touch your cassava. For example, a, a post has been applied here at eight weeks. You can see that the cassava, and that post is for both broad leaf and the grasses. You can see that the cassava is looking clean without any symptom of a herbicide effect. To understand those three stages of herbicide application, let us watch the six steps video again. 
Do you want to grow cassava and get higher yield? Here are six steps to help you achieve your dream. 1. Select a suitable site that is not on a slope, waterlogged, stony or very shallow. 2. If the vegetation is an older fallow with trees, shrubs and broad leaves and too tall to go over with a sprayer, slash the vegetation and plow. If the vegetation is a grass fallow with perennial weeds such as spare grass, guinea grass, siam weed, sensitive plant or giant potato and too tall to go over with a sprayer, slash the vegetation and wait for two weeks to allow the growth. 3. Apply glyphosate for example, Roundup Turbo, Touchdown Forte at label rate to deal with the grass regrowing from the slashed grass fallow. Glyphosate should also be applied on a field if it has little vegetation, less than 1 meter tall, with perennial weeds. Thereafter, wait for 14 days to allow total kill by glyphosate. 4. Tillage operations are costly but result in higher cassava yields and productive fields. Plowing generally increases huge yield by at least 5 tons per hectare. Only invest in plowing if the revenue expected from 5 tons of cassava exceeds the cost of plowing 1 hectare of land. Region increases root yield by at least 4 tons per hectare. Reach your field if the revenue from 4 tons of cassava exceeds the cost of ridging 1 hectare of land. Ridging is also recommended if your soil is high in clay content or if you intend to harvest in the dry season or if weeds are difficult to control. 5. Plant cassava only when the soil is moist at 1 meter between rows and 0.8 meters within rows. Thereafter, apply pre-emergence herbicide such as Prime Extra Gold at 4 liters per hectare or Lagoon at 1.25 liters per hectare within 24 hours after planting. Do not apply pre-emergence herbicide on dry soil. Replace cuttings that fail to sprout after 15 to 21 days. 6. When weeds cover 30% of your field and they are at 4 to 6 leaf stage, Apply a post-emergence weed control, for example, post-emergence herbicides, mechanical or manual weeding. In grass-dominated fields or in portions of a field that are grass-dominated, apply Fossilate 40 or 3 liters per hectare under cassava canopy for grass and or broadleaf infested fields, glufosinate ammonium, for example, lifeline, basta, fascinate may be applied at label rate. Glyphosate like Roundup Turbo, Touchdown Forte and can also be carefully applied at label rate. But it is important to use a shield on the sprayer nozzle to avoid the glyphosate touching green parts of cassava, which will result in cassava damage. If cassava is less than 8 weeks old and the field is infested with grass and broadleaf weeds, Use manual weeding. Do not apply the same herbicides year in year out because this may promote the development of resistant weeds. Join us again next week as we go deeper into the essentials of profitable and stress-free cassava farming. To watch missed episodes and other useful cassava weed management videos, go to our YouTube channel Cassava Matters, and our social media handles on Facebook and Twitter. For questions, comments, and inquiries, please use the following contact details on your screen. We'll be glad to hear from you.